there was a lot of basketball reasons why mm -hmm. people thought this would be a very difficult uh, series for the Celtics. I know it's just game one and people tend to overreact sometimes, but it feels to me like the Celtics are in trouble. Does it feel that way to you? A world of trouble, but let's both agree that they're in trouble at this moment. And if they turn around and win game two, then it's a whole different conversation because had they won game one and lost game two, I don't know that we'd be feeling the same way that we are right now. You'd just be saying, hey, they're in for the tough series we all expected against a difficult matchup, a team that had a better point differential after the All-Star break than the Celtics did. It, does, it never felt like an 8-1 going in. No. Before this tragic accident, Isaiah Thomas was saying nobody's respecting us. That's what we're going in with a chip on our shoulder because we don't get our due as a number one seed. They're going up against a team that's an underachiever. In many respects, the Celtics felt like overachievers. And the biggest difference is on the boards. One team is fourth in offensive rebound. The other team is 27th in defensive rebound. Re rebounding. Surprise, surprise. They get killed on the boards. Mm -hmm. So ultimately, when it comes down to it, they are in trouble in the short term. And it does feel dire if you are a Celtics fan. But in the big picture, you're kind of playing with house money in some respects. Because was this... How so? Here's why I say that. Was this expected to be a championship team in the era of LeBron, even with the Cavs being vulnerable. Not a lot of people, to Isaiah Thomas's point over the weekend, not a lot of people were saying Celtics in the finals. So what you're doing right now is getting an up close and personal look at the guy that Danny Ainge probably needs to go harder after in the offseason, which is Jimmy Butler, the best player in the series, or Paul George, and you got the lottery balls about to do work for you. I'm not writing off the Celtics right now. <laughs> And I think ultimately with any series, you have to look at what can change and what can't. And I think what can definitely, uh, what can't change for the Bulls uh, and for the Celtics for that matter is this rebounding edge that the Bulls will probably have throughout most been of the series. Been a problem all year. What's been a problem also all year for the Celtics is find, finding that go-to legitimate can depend on you second score, which has kind of been their Achilles heel. And I don't know if those either of those things obviously aren't going to change, which is why this series, I'm not going to write off the Celtics right. either, but this feels like something that will go seven We're games. We're discussing in a moment.